All right, quick update on crypto.com. So we're looking pretty bad today. We're down about 7% as of the time of recording this. This is not just crypto.com. Obviously, everything is breaking down. I'm not saying crypto.com is the only crypto breaking down, so it sucks. I'm simply saying, you know, your whole market's breaking down. You've got the stock market breaking down. You've got blue chip stocks that are moving down more than crypto.com. Bitcoin is breaking down very strongly. We're down at the lows right now. Uh, Bitcoin is getting very, very dangerous as to whether we are going to hold some of these patterns. And this is why we're seeing this big move to the downside for Crypto.com. Luckily, uh, I sold all of my Crypto.com around these regions of the 30 cent. Uh, I sold it specifically because they amended their Crypto.com Visa card rates. Uh, we came down to this low, we back tested it, came up. And as we came down to this low, Crypto.com thought it would be a great idea to destroy the value of the crypto.com visa cards previously i had a crypto.com visa card i was paying an obscene amount of money for all of these benefits that were that were worth it in my opinion and they took away all those benefits and then i had a card that gave me free netflix and free spotify so crypto.com really has fallen out of favor with me i really don't appreciate how they've kind of screwed over so many people myself included uh there's a lot of people that still are staking their cards and you know for example you might have staked for a crypto.com card two months ago um hoping that you get all these rewards and now because they're getting rid of it the price is dumping and you're stuck holding uh, a staking position that you don't want to be in and there's nothing you can do about it so i i really don't like what crypto.com's done nonetheless i I'm leaving my emotions out of this looking at this from a purely technical perspective the stock market's breaking down bitcoin's breaking down the whole crypto market's breaking down so i see no reason for crypto.com to be a market outlier and break up especially with the fundamental news that has diminished the fundamental value of cro in my opinion as you can see we are landsliding down 25 percent since i did sold all my uh, sold all my crypto.com and the beauty of this is i might look at getting my crypto.com visa card back if we go down another 25%, I mean, I had one of the higher tier cards for crypto.com. So if I can buy it back for half the amount of um, of crypto, then I, I may very much do so. But I'm personally not looking at getting back into crypto.com right now. Uh, if I do look at this chart objectively, it really looks like you've got a accumulate. Oh, we've already talked about this actually, because I've already got the green box uh, drawn out. Um, so you can see we had this accumulation range. We were in this for a very, very long period of time. Then we had a bull run on the Matt Damon ads. And what do you notice now? Crypto.com is back into the previous accumulation range. This entire bull run is invalidated. Yes, while it happened, while we almost went to a dollar, all of this bullish stuff is now invalidated. Why is it invalidated? Because from a technical perspective, when you draw your fibs from low to high, if you close below your 786 Fibonacci, the downtrend is done, or the uptrend is done rather, it's invalidated. So like I said, not bringing my emotions into this from a technical perspective, we have invalidated all of the momentum to the upside. Um, bringing my emotions and my thoughts into this, I don't like crypto.com after they've implemented these new visa card changes. I'm honestly not the biggest fan, especially the timing that they've done it. I understand it's to maintain the long-term value, but they could have done something smart. Like for example, Solana. Solana has an inflation rate of 7%. And instead of just randomly, whenever they feel like it, cutting the inflation rate drastically, once a year, they decrease it by 15%. So crypto.com, they could have done something very smart like that over time, lower it slowly, slowly, slowly. So it, as it wouldn't have a, a, a crazy experience on the market, but they, they thought it'd be a good idea to implement all these changes as we were back testing the lows. If you ask me, that's absolutely stupid. Whoever decided that it was a good idea to bring out that news at that moment in time, that they do not deserve uh, their role in Crypto.com. They really, really messed things up. Uh, obviously, I feel like Crypto.com was going to break down either way. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying because Crypto.com implemented these visas, this is the only reason why we broke down. It's really not. Everything is breaking down in the crypto market right now. I would not try and catch the falling knife on this. Looking at this, you're miles away from your EMA ribbons. And uh, there's not much else to talk about. There's no other supports for crypto.com. There's really nowhere 
that I can even see that we would be bouncing apart from the lows of this accumulation range down here at 15 cents. So it could get a lot, lot uglier for crypto.com. Uh, we do also have some support in this baby accumulation range on the EMA ribbons before we did break up. So either way, I definitely see crypto.com moving down to 20 cent. I'd personally be predicting because obviously we sold all the way up here predicting that it was going to move lower. I, I would be predicting another 30 or, or I would have been predicting a 35% drop to the downside. This is another 14%. So I do think we are going to move down to 20 cent unfortunately if we don't hold this then i could expect to move down to 14 cent which is a 55 percent drop and like i said i'm really just looking at this objectively bitcoin is breaking down like bit you can see bitcoin has just taken out the lows since the last time we checked uh we checked on bitcoin the dollar is looking extremely strong which is terrible for the crypto and the stock market and the stock market is looking terrible we're waiting for the stock market to open right now and if the stock market opens bearish it could be very, very ugly for crypto.com. So like I said, looking at crypto.com, tons of bearish momentum stepping into this. There is no buying volume whatsoever. The only good thing I can say about this is we're running out of sellers. It, there seems to be a, a lack of sellers at this moment in time, but looking at every other chart, we're heading down and we're heading down very, very strongly. On the hourly time frame, it looks like the selling volume has start to step in. And I'm not surprised because looking at Bitcoin on the hourly as well, Bitcoin in the past hour has really started to take a dive. So I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to upload this as quick as I can because this is very time sensitive. Would I be trying to catch the falling knife on crypto.com? Absolutely not. Am I expecting lower price targets? Yes, I think crypto.com is coming down to between 20 cent and 14 cent. Let's see how that plays out. That's all I've got for crypto.com today. I would have really liked to see this break bullish, but it just didn't happen. From a technical perspective, we've invalidated it. Uh, and, you know, like I said, bringing my opinion into this, which I always do try and keep my opinions and the technical separate. For example, I'm a huge fan of Solana. Like, I love Solana. I still love Solana. And if you click on my Solana video, you'll see that I was also harsh on Solana today. And this is because when I make my analysis, I don't hop, hop on this. I don't moon boy on this. I don't say, hey guys, we're almost near the bottom. We're going to reverse. We're going to have a 10,000% pump. Like I said with Solana, I love Solana. But I don't say, hey, Solana's coming down. We're going to quadruple bottom. We're going to explode. We're going to break super, super bullish. I leave my emotions out of the charts. I love Solana. Bringing my opinion in on Solana. I think Solana is a great project. Leaving my opinion out of it and looking at it objectively, the chart looks terrible. And it's the same for crypto.com. So if you want to throw rocks through my window, I mean, go, go ahead. But this is the chart. This is what I see. The chart looks like dog water right now. This is one of the worst crypto charts, especially for the altcoins. Crypto.com is looking terrible. And in my opinion, it has added extra flame to the fire because of their Visa card. Um, poorly managed announcement. That's all I've got today. Bearish momentum stepping in. Tons of bearish volume coming in. I would be expecting at least 20 cent to be on the table today or in the next couple of days all i've got for crypto.com as always cowboy out not financial advice peace